All right, hey guys. So one of the more requested questions, one of the biggest questions that I get is what do I paint on? Um, what are the best kind of surfaces to paint on? And now to provide some background, I do mostly oil paintings and uh, mixed media work, but my mixed media work always also includes oil paint. So having um, surfaces and uh, textures that fit for oil painting is a, a big, big requirement for me. So I'm gonna take you through some of the different surfaces that I work on, what I recommend, what I recommend you staying clear from, and if you guys have any questions, let me know. So I just got back from Blick Art Store, um, and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got. And I promise this is like not sponsored, they just, they're just my local art store. So what I've been using a lot lately are these. Let me show you what it looks like. That sounds probably not great for the camera, but um, okay. So these arches, uh, oil paper. So this is oil paper, and um, it's currently one of my favorite things for when I'm doing mixed media work. So I'll show you. Um, this is a work that I did yesterday, two days ago, two days ago, I think. Okay, and so this is on. Um, you can see it's on the pad, the piece of paper on here. And what I like about it is when you feel it, let me show you guys the texture of the paper up close. You see, um, it has a really nice texture. It's not canvas, it's actual paper. And now painting oil on this paper is quite the experience. If I am doing just an oil painting, no mixed media, I don't like to use this because the paper is so absorbent. But when I'm using things like inks, um, or acrylics or um, a lot of like a lot of this drippy kind of stuff then the paper is great for it because it soaks in all of that material so if I'm doing mixed media I like the paper now um, one of the downsides uh, there's pros and cons to it so um, pros um, it's easy and it's relatively inexpensive now it comes in a pad of 12 12 papers and it cost me $25. So per painting, um, you could do the math. It's like, what is that? Just over $2. Y'all, this is live and I'm nervous. Well, not live, but you get, you get what I'm saying. So don't judge me for my math. Um, but yeah, just over like $2 per paper. Now I'm always considering the cost, considering the cost per painting of my surfaces. Um, so yeah, that's a, a pro is, Relatively speaking, it's pretty inexpensive per painting. Now, downsides, um, this is the largest size pad, that, at least that they carry um, in my art store. And that's big for me. Um, I like to be able to see things in person and buy things in person. Um, so, so yeah, those are um, some of the things to consider. Yeah, pros, also it's lightweight. Um, it's easy for storage. That's huge. I'm going to go over storage problem in a minute. Um, but it's, it's easy to store lots of different papers. Now, if you're selling this work, now these ones I am selling, um, that puts a consideration on the buyer. Um, they have to think about how they're going to display it. They're probably going to have to get that framed. Whereas if it were a canvas, um, they have a few more options for displaying that. Okay, so that's pros and cons. That is the Arches oil paper. Currently my favorite for mixed media work. Now I mentioned if I'm just doing oil work, I don't like to do that. And let me show you what I like um, in that regards. All right, so let's talk about the next, uh, next surface that I like to use. Now I don't use these very much um, anymore, but when I was first starting out, I use them all the time. And if you were just starting out, I definitely suggest them. And they're canvas pads. Now you can buy these, you can see this is a lot larger than the oil paper. And now the texture of the canvas pads are actually canvas. It's not, um, so let me show you the texture there. Like this is, and here's the back. It's pre-primed canvas. It's ready for you to go. Nice thin sheets. The pros, again, it's easy to store. It's not gonna take up a lot of space. And when you are um, learning and when you are um, working on perfecting your craft, you're gonna want, you're gonna need to do a lot of painting. And so storage becomes quite the problem. Um, 
here's some some old ones I can show you um, these are just like kind of sketches that I've done you know they're not really composed <laughs> nice but it gives you the feeling of working on an actual canvas and again um, these you can buy pretty large and um, they are even less expensive than the oil paper pads. Now, one thing I do want to show is that this is like fairly flimsy, right? Because this is just, it's like fabric, it's, it's canvas. Whereas the oil paper is going to be pretty stiff. It's like cardstock almost. Um, oh my gosh, this is one of the first paintings um, that I, I did during the pandemic. Do you know who this is? This is funny, this is acrylic. Okay, um, now let's talk about the downsides of that. One, I mentioned it's kind of flimsy and they are prone to ripping. Let's take that tape off. Okay, they're prone to ripping. So, um, and you, the edges, doesn't always give you nice edges that you really wanna work with. So, um, while I love the canvas paper for practicing, if you are ready to um, start sharing your work with family, friends, buyers, um, you want to start giving it, um, you might be ready to move to the next thing. And I'm going to show you that. All right, so I'm back with the next thing. And um, that is, you can see I buy these super packs. All right, I buy these super packs of canvases. They come packed like this. Um, they're relatively cheap. Now, the thing is, I can get a pack of five, okay, for $20. And then um, the store that I buy them from also have, they have yearly, like they have specials where you can get them half off. So it ends up being about $2 per canvas. And that's a great deal. Now these um, I like for also when you're, when you're starting out, let me just set those down, or you are, um, you know, you're just wanting to have more permanent work. Um, they're super nice for that. Now, some things to know about when you're buying the value pack canvases, um, they are prone to warping. So if you are at the point where you're selling professionally, um, I, 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 you're probably ready to move on from the value pack canvases um, and work with something a little more sturdy and hardy. Um, but those are great. I, uh, I love those canvases um, and you can buy them for fairly cheap. All right, so um, going back to the value pack canvases, uh, I mentioned how great they are. Let's and and I did mention the the bowing, the warping, um, the potential for that to happen. Um, so you might be tempted to work with something that is still hardy but smaller in size. And so you'll see they sell these panels. They're pretty thin and they they're hard, um, and they give you the canvas texture. But y'all, do me a favor, just skip. The, the thin little canvas panels, because look at this. I haven't even opened this one. It's been sitting in a dry area uh, in my house. I, buy, I, I bought a bunch of these in stock. So I have a, or bulk, not stock. Yeah, I bought a bunch in bulk. So I have a bunch of these bowed. They're already bowed, look at that. Um, you can't hang that on a wall. Hey, look at that light. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, you can't hang this on a wall. I mean, that just is gonna look super unprofessional. Um, and I've had this happen. Like here's a work, here's a painting that I did and look at it. It's so crooked and bowed. Um, so even though they might look like a good option, steer clear of the super thin panels. And instead, let me show you something different. All right. So, um, I just showed you those super thin little panels, avoid them like the plague. Um, and instead, if you're wanting to go the panel route, and I'll tell you some benefits of the panel, um, you can buy them without the texture of the canvas. And now you can do that with a regular canvas. You can prime, prep, sand, prep again, um, and get a really nice texture to, to work with. But I am, I have to tell you when it comes to art, um, preparation is not always my thing. I love to just pour myself into the art of it. I like to buy ready-made things. We're going to talk about um, making our own canvases as well. But if I can buy something that's already um, ready to go, I love that. And so let me show you one of my favorite things. So this is on, this is a panel, but it's a thick panel. You can see here, 
It's, I mean, this is super sturdy. This is not gonna bow. Um, it's nice and thick. And the cool thing, it comes ready to hang, okay? Whereas the little panels don't. Um, now, and this is like, this is a, provides such a smooth texture if you've never painted on one of these. It is such a treat. Now, the thing is, it comes with a price tag, whereas um, some of the other surfaces I showed you are just a few dollars, a um, few like cents to dollars to paint on. One of these um, is probably going to cost you closer to, you know, between 20 and $40. Um, wow, I was really close to the camera there. Um, so, so, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. So that's why I don't like to, um, if I do get to paint on one of those, it's either because it's a commission um, that I'm working on or it's a very special treat. Now let me show you, um, there are, you can find these cheaper panels. These are hard, um, they're not gonna bow. I'll show you this one. Uh, the only downside to these ones, they're more cost effective, but there's, you're gonna have to figure out a different way to hang it. It doesn't come with pre-drilled holes. Um, your buyer or you are gonna have to get creative with displaying that in your home. And then last, another, um, I buy these in bulk as well, but these are just wood panels. Um, wood panels, you can see, and they do provide nice ways for you to hang. Now, because it is wood, you do have to consider how you're gonna prep the canvas. Everything else that I've showed you thus far has all been, you, you buy pre-primed, ready to paint on. Um, the wood, you probably need to consider a little bit more. All right, um, so the, the last kind of things I wanna talk to you about are, um, I have more canvases now, all of your art stores, they're gonna have different grades of canvases. So whether they're student, um, professional, you know, they, have, they all have different names, but um, they're, they're gonna have different backings. You can see this one, I love the back on this. It just looks really nice. There's some sturdy supports on the back, so you don't have to worry about bowing um, as long as, you know, you're not keeping it out in the rain or whatever. Um, but these, they do come with a cost though, right? So. Um, I only buy a few of those per year. Now you do have the option to um, stretch your own canvas. And if you are a beginner or you're you know, working on improving your craft, I think trying to stretch your own canvas at least once is, is definitely something you should do. After my first piece, I had so much pride in that canvas and um, a deeper connection with the artwork and it's hard to to get that elsewhere now you are going to have to put a ton of work into stretching it into priming your canvas prepping it um and it saved i'll tell you when i do my own canvases it saves about 50 percent of the cost there was a high initial cost to buy some of the supplies i needed to be able to do it on my own um but it saves me about 50 percent now i won't do that for smaller ones even like this size this is 24 by 30. Um, I'd rather just pay the money to, to buy that um, for the amount of work that it takes me. Now, if I'm doing a really large one, um, I'm talking like a huge painting, then yeah, sure. I will consider um, stretching my own canvas, but it is a lot of work. And for something this size to put in hours of work for to save me $30, um, I, I'd rather just have my time. Um, yeah, so that's it. Those are, you guys asked for what kind of surfaces I like to paint on, um, and what kind to avoid. And that's it. I just went and bought more of this. This is my favorite right now, the Arches oil paper. Um, it's a really sweet spot when we're talking about cost, durability, quality. Um, and it just lets you play with your mediums and a different way than a canvas might. So that's it. If you have questions, let me know.